Hey. Who the cock are you? Welcome to GTA 5 again. Piss off, Simeon. Simeon. Simon. Simon. Today, we've got ourselves a brand new car to play with. It was added to GTA, as you know, as part of the stunning cut. Cunning stunts update. This is the obeyed thingy, Bubba Doodah thing. Oh lord! This is one of the cars that I've wanted to build straight away as soon as I saw it, because straight away stock, it has a massive wang. How could you complain? You can't complain. So, let's very quickly see how this thing launches. Oh, off it goes! Because I have a feeling, mate, it's all-wheel drive. Because as you can clearly tell, it's based off of what? What is it based off of, Theo? I don't know. The Audi Quattro. Is the Audi Quattro a good car, Theo? I don't know. Yes, it is. It's an absolutely incredible car. And literally, I have considered looking into how to get one. And then I, I never bothered because I don't like it that much. But any, it's a very awesome car. A very iconic car for... Well, a very obvious reason, and then we're going to test that for today. But one thing I wanted to do straight away is do some, do some initial testing and see how it is. Now I know for a fact of driving my friend's one that this thing is all-wheel drive. Look at it, it's beautiful. So this launch is not amazing. Well, it's actually all right to be honest from stock, but we can fully upgrade this thing, and that's where it's going to start to show us a little bit of more performance. But one thing I want to show you is how quickly this thing, like, maneuvers around. Like, from f slow speeds, it just feels so nippy. I don't know, there's something about it. Like, I think when we upgrade it, we'll be able to see a lot more. But it just, it, the low end speed is there. The high end speed, not so much. But I can't say that properly until we fully upgrade it. Because, I mean, come on, like, listen. Who buys a GTA car and then drives it stock? If you're going to make use of it, you upgrade it. So let's go do that. Look at it, we better flip. Oh boy, that was sick. Right, let's get inside this place then. Let's upgrade this bad boy. So I'm hoping that there's actually a upgrade for the wings. I haven't looked at any of the customizations, anything like that. I haven't looked at anything like that at all because I wanted to go in. I, I drove it a little bit, but I wanted to go in myself customization wise. No, I don't want to quit. I didn't need to do that. So first things first, I'm going to throw on the brakes. We need to full upgrade this thing, as I've said like 50 fucking times now. Come on, Theo, stop saying it. Now, this is the exhaust mod, which makes it a double exhaust. And that's what we're going to do. I love the little tips, the color tips. I'm, I'm going to do that when I get a skyline. You're going to get a skyline? I, I hope so. That's my dream car. So you're not going to get one. Pro probably not. Hopefully. Anyway, going to the lights, we can change them to the Xenon lights. Honestly, I don't really like doing that. You probably noticed that I don't actually like doing that. We've got two livery options, which is this livery and this livery. I put this red one on because I didn't like it as much. If I could change the color, it might be a bit better. And then you can remove the livery completely. And honestly, I've got to say, it doesn't look that great without a livery on there. Looks a bit weird, doesn't it? I'm not too keen on it. And I've just realized it's got a little front plate. Well, you can see, why, why can't we do that? You can... Okay, next up, next thing is changing the plate. So it does it actually change the front plate? Oh my god, it actually changed the color of the front plate. Is the front plate the same as the back plate? Oh my god! I've never noticed that before. Uh, carrying on, respray, that's one thing I wanted to check. We've got primary and secondary color. So if we go to this, that's the top color, which is awesome. And then the secondary color, I'm hoping, is the red stripe. It's not, it's the interior, which is a... Uh, that's a little bit different, I guess. We could make it nice and pink if you wanted to. Benny style. Then on the second livery option, we have ourselves... I think this one's nicer. Overall, overall, it's a very much nicer one. We can actually change... Well, that's the main color of the car, so I'm guessing it changes the white. So we can change that color there. And then the secondary color, hopefully, may change the, the stripe. No, it again wants to change the interior. So the only color you can change is that, which is a little bit annoying. And I thought that said penis, but I don't know. You know what? Because it's an older car... I'm actually going to go with cream. This sounds ridiculous, but I honestly think that looks really, really awesome. And if we put ourselves on a nice little tint on there, we might get some really cool effects going on, which I think may make this thing ridiculously unique. Bloody pink! Oh, stupid! I love it. I'm going to go with a bleached brown. It gives it a bit more of a shiny look on there, I guess. So we'll go with that. The secondary color, I'm not going to bother changing it, honestly. I like that as it is. Now, we've got... Spoiler options. This is the part I've been waiting for and the part you've been waiting for as well, isn't it? Right. Remove spoiler. That looks ridiculous. That, I think this is generally the first car that looks absolutely fucking stupid without a wing. Like, totally stupid. You wouldn't bother driving it without a wing. And then we've got the OTT spoiler. 
I'm hoping that means over the top. Hello, Matthew. Have you seen the wang? Christ on a bike, that is beautiful. I liked the stock spoiler, but look at that, look at it. Can I, can I get like six of those? All of my cars, I want all of my cars to have wings like that. That is the wang of dreams. The wang, they've taken it from the truck on Forza. That's what they've gone and done. Suspension, now I've, I've thought long and hard about this. I'm not exactly sure how GTA works in forms of suspension. I'm thinking if we keep stock suspension, it'll be better at landing and it won't, you know, hit the floor. As, I'm, I'm, that's what I'm thinking. It would be better at landing and better at rallying if you have higher suspension. Because that's generally how it works in real life. And obviously, if you if you lower your car in real life, you're going to be stuck on speed bumps. and You get the idea. So I'm thinking stock suspension, honestly. And I'm going to see how that works out. And another thing is, there's a thing in GTA. If you put on rally tires or dirt tires or off-road tires, if you will, you actually take curbs better, like it glides over them like a lot smoother. So I'm thinking of going with off-road tires for this car, and it already has off-road style the ones. So I'm guessing I'm just changing them a little bit, and that makes them like ridiculous. I don't even know if I want to change them. I don't know. No, come on, Theo. We need to do it properly. You need to do it properly. You need to put off-road wheels on there. So again, we could easily, very easily, put on some other types of wheels if we go to here. I mean, they look they look all they look all right, some of them. But I want to go off-road. So I'm putting off-road ones on there. Now, I might actually go with something a little bit boring. Because that's I kind of like the off-road style. Where it looks a bit... You wouldn't normally drive anything like that with, with you know, in, in your rally car at all. So, I don't know. We could stay with that. That's similar to stock. We'll probably go with that. Uh, change the color of them a little bit. What do we change it to? That is a good question, actually. Because I have no freaking idea. I'm thinking we just go again with maybe like a gray to match the bottom of the car. Tire design... Putting the custom tire design on there. Tire enhancement, don't need those. Don't need, don't, don't put colored smoke. I don't need that. Windows, little tint, and that's it. I think that's everything we need to do the plate. Here she is, the Audi Quattro in cream. Actually looks pretty awesome. It's like a slight gold, isn't it? I quite like that. Well, yeah. Oh my God, wait. It has turbo flutter. It has turbo flutter. Let's go. Oh, wheel drive. Off you go, pet. Jesus Christ. Freaking hell. That launch is massively insane. You'd expect it from an all-wheel drive Audi rally car, but hey, I wasn't expecting it, and then it happened. I'm happy. How the fuck have I got a license? I don't know. So as I was saying, it doesn't really have incredible top speed as you can tell it's not going massively quick but the turbo flutter makes why am i doing this i've just repeat you know what i don't care oh my god that launch i think they've genuinely changed the backfire noise as well that's that's a more aggressive pop i just had to get this car like you cannot not get this car and this is one of my favorite like little routes to take so i'm gonna take it in an off-road car now i'm not gonna time myself but what i will do is do properly. Let's go and see. So, yeah, you can go from the other end or this way. It basically goes past the dam. Dam? Dam who? Don't you fucking dare. Oh, be careful, Theo, you absolute maniac. But, nah, I, I really had to get one of these, for especially for the stunning, cunning stunts update. I keep trying. I'm not, I legit do not mean to do that. Um, yeah, so I, I was trying to, I, I, I saw this car and I was like, right, I need to get it. Not for the fact that it's got a massive wing. That is one of the many reasons why I got this car. Why do you buy this car? It has a big wang. But this thing was a dream to play with the stock version in the events. I've actually driven this bad boy before and I drove it stock. And now I get to try it properly. I'm definitely going to use this in events because, again, I've made it, I've done this special tune on it in a way I didn't lower the suspension. What I have done is put the rally tires on it so hopefully it'll go over bumps better and i don't need a radio with this car or any music play because all i need to do is just press the gas a little bit and let off and then it'll do a nice pop for me and also when i get to the high revs and let go it will do a nice turbo flutter for me like a beast i love this thing 
this is actually one of my favorite cars I've added to GTA Online. Again, oh, that was beautiful. The only thing is, it looks a bit shite without a design on it. Wouldn't you agree? I, I would definitely agree with that because it is true. There's a nice bimmer back there. Why would you do that? It's like a bin in the go. Oh! And the wing doesn't make me fly. The wing does definitely not make me fly. You need a helmet for this car. That's what you do need. Look at that seamless transition. If I go up this curb... Oh. Well, it's still... See, that was better. See? I didn't even feel going up that curb. Feel better. No, because you're a curb. I don't need to. I got off-road wheels. That one juddered a bit. But that, see, it just handles them better, as I've seen in, like, videos. But, yeah, would you recommend this car, Theo? Of course I would. I just grinded along that. I wish, I bloody wish I was in third person for that. But this is a fantastic car, and I'm most definitely going to keep it in my collection. I can't wait to do all of these videos, and once I've done these videos, we're going to do some, more, like, normal GTA Online videos. And I'm going to show off my garages, finally, because I have not done that in a long time, and I've got some awesome cars to show you. Since when is there a fucking ramp there? I swear that was just there for one mission. What? Well, I'm good. Can you not? I'm trying to do this jump, mate. Oh, wheel drive. Let's go. Excuse me. Swerving. Oh, I didn't even... Oh, I did scrape the wall. Here we go. Oh. Not exactly what I intended, but... We're done here. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, please be sure to leave a like. Let me know what GTA car I should build next. I'm really happy with this one. But, I mean, come on, lads. There's another supercar and other, other low-end cars as well to try out. And I've got lots of money. And so I was like, Theo, how'd you get all that money? Shark cards. Rockstar, you win again. Before, like, until the other month, I hadn't bought any shark cards. And now I buy them, like, every month, I swear to Christ. Thanks for watching. Leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. I'm Chris.